Intellectual Radio. This is Gigi Carrera. We're streaming live 24-7 at intellectualradio.com. And I'm here with Miss Christina Bishop with uh, Miss Illinois 28, Miss Illinois Earth 28. Thank you, Gigi. It's been my pleasure. I want to talk about my experience overall uh, with the Miss Earth organization, my experiences and how the crown has changed my life and has made me really a better person. And you are part of one of the third largest international organization, pageants itself, which is the Miss Earth. So before that though, tell us about you. I know you are not just a beauty, you're not just a model, you, you did um, completed your education. So actually when I was in school, I didn't really have much time to model, I'll be honest, I was working um, mostly doing promotional modeling. Um, that's kind of where I started. And during college, I only had time for that. I was working most of my time and studying. So my modeling career really was on delay because of that, because I won, it was always education first. So I finished, or it was towards the end of, um, of my school year, and um, I got my bachelor's in criminal law and sociology. I am currently working, um, so I have my professional career started. I was a junior or senior in college when I met you, and actually it was through uh, modeling, something having to do with modeling that we were doing, and I did one of your fashion shows, I remember, with Will, right. Ohio Boutique. Dress yes. and Party, Ohio. And it was such a great show, and we got talking after, and I wanted to share about um, you know my dreams and kind of what I hope to do with modeling and you gave me a helping hand and you said listen I'm looking for models and also I, I am the director for um, Miss Illinois if you want to compete you're more than welcome to actually at first I said no I'm not going to compete <laughs> I remember do you remember that <laughs> she's like you should compete and I said no but after a few months um, you know, it kind of intersected with my modeling. And if you do pageantry, whether you win or not, you actually get quite a lot of modeling um, gigs and a lot of events that you social network and you can, um, you know, find work that way and do what you love. So I started doing that. I started getting more involved. I met a lot of uh, great people. Gigi is one of them. Oh, thank she you. has been in my life for more than a year now and it's been amazing so thanks to you i wouldn't be what i am today really and uh, i actually didn't uh, pay her to say that <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> did you know that uh, miss earth usa 2017 was also here at our radio show last april during our state that competition correct, yes, yes. Uh, so andrea Jibao, if you're watching our live feed, I want to give a shout-out to her. Hi, Andrea. I'm sure she is. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I love her. She's the sweetest person. She is amazing. I'm looking forward to doing a fashion show with her, In hopefully soon. In Fashion Week, you went to school, completed your education, and then you started doing the modeling, obviously. And then you win the Miss Illinois Earth title. One of the reasons that I've actually invited you to compete for the Miss Earth organization is that Although you weren't prepared to be part of the program and didn't really yeah. understand what the Miss Earth is, you'd had some exposure to environmental advocacy and awareness. And after we've spoken about it, I knew that you're somebody that can be mentored to create a platform. What are some of those activities that you've been involved with prior to you uh, being the Miss Illinois Earth? We are going to take a short break and when we come back, we'll talk about those charitable organizations that you've had uh, had opportunity for working this year. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back at intellectualradio.com. Welcome back to Women Everywhere. Your story matters at Intellectual Radio. And I have here with me a guest, which is our current Miss Illinois 2018, Christina Dishev. Uh, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Gigi. So, my question to you prior to uh, us taking a break was some of the organizations that you got involved with when you were a local title holder as well as when you win the Miss Illinois 2018. Sure. Um, well, let me take you back to actually when I was in college, I studied abroad in Switzerland and from there really my... Um, I had an intellectual curiosity more about ways we can really conserve the planet and our resources 
Um, you do know the whole global uh, global warming, and every, I know it's controversial. I do believe in it very hardcore, and we're trying to do everything in our power that we can because we are beauties for a cause, right? We want to conserve our planet and make it as, as greener as we can. So um, it really started when I was uh, studying abroad in Switzerland, and I worked with the United Nations, and we worked on a few different projects, and one of them having to do actually with the ways we can conserve the planet. Now it was more educational, more so than volunteering because it was such a short program. We didn't actually have the time to go out and do as much. So we mostly learned about it. Um, so that was kind of really the starting point for me. And then from there on, I came back and then I met you. So it felt like it was almost meant to be because that I already was exposed to this. This wasn't something new to me. I had uh, some background knowledge about it, of course, since then we've been working on developing, developing that platform, platform. Right. and it's and it's never developed, you, it always needs work, you know, you need to stay consistent, right, so keep developing and working and at least once a month do something about it or even educate um, your fans or people that you know about it, I call that success. Yeah, I know that you have a sister queen. Yes. Alyssa Gallardo and uh, Taylor uh, Andrews yep. that you had photo shoots with earlier today. Yes. They were one of the people that you actually went out and uh, yes. did some appearances. What were particular activities you were involved with in those Yeah, so with Alyssa actually was my official first activity after I won my title. Um, we went out into the uh, Fox Lake. We go out in this boat, a really old boat, and then we had we were dressed like garbage men. It was so much fun, and we just went out and we picked up the garbage from the lake. And you'd be surprised, like it looks so clean, but when you go out into the water, it's actually very dirty, and it needs uh, somebody to go out at least once a month and really do some cleanup around. You you had had a lot of fun uh, activities during summertime with Mambu Festival. Part yes. of your yeah. Tell that us was about actually that. how did you get involved with that? Sure. Um, actually, I first I learned about Mambu because I really wanted all my friends were going, so I wanted to go. But then the idea came up in my head. Um, I wanted to do something with that I, where I wanted to go, but yet get my title involved also with that organization. So. I got in contact with Mambi and I said, "Hey, I want to help clean up your clean up the beach because I know that people are going to be throwing stuff, you know, um, on the lake." So they said, "Oh yeah, absolutely. Just show up and we'll get you your garbo grabber and a bag." So I was walking around with a garbo grabber and a bag, just cleaning up, you know, the garbage. And you'd be surprised how people actually came in. They helped me take a lot of garbage out of the lake even though they were there to have fun they were actually very helpful it was such well, a great which is a good reminder because Mambi festival actually happens every year in mm -hmm. uh, Illinois during uh, summertime or early spring and that that brings tons of people into the beach and they've and many of them just kind of they're having too much fun they're not mindful about what they're doing in the beach that creates a lot of the pollution and if you guys aren't just tuning in we're here with miss illinois earth 2018 um the christina Dishev, and we're talking about her uh, platform which is water conservation miss earth organization which, which promotes beauty for a cause and environmental advocacy and awareness go to miss illinois earth uh, dot com or Facebook or forward Facebook. slash Miss Illinois Earth. You will see her face on the profile, obviously, and uh, you will see some of the activities that she's done, the charitable places, the classes that you are supporting, and the sponsor events that you yes. get to go, which is really fun. I, lo I love that. We were there at MVP World Entertainment. How was it uh, experiencing your second? Um, appearance in a Filipino community. What, how do you feel about that? It was so exciting um, to really to really convince people that they can do anything they want to do. Um, because you know, you see it in their eyes and when they see you can accomplish it, they can too. So I'm no different than you are. Before you got crowned as the Miss Illinois, did you feel like it's something that is out of reach or that did you have any specific strategy to actually get to that point, to winning the title? 
I wouldn't say specific strategy. I think the most important thing is to believe in yourself. And even when you think you are failing, even on stage, like let's say you get asked a question and you start, mm, I don't know, just believe in yourself and pretend that your friend is asking you that question or your boyfriend or your parents. How would you answer them? Just And that tells you who you are as a person. And people love that and the judges love that. I think that is one sh so-called strategy I used. Um, but really, you you just got to believe in yourself. Wonderful. And uh, if you guys are just tuning in, we're at intellectualradio.com streaming live. We have about 50 shows here at Intellectual Radio, so you don't have to listen to Just To Me, just in case you're not interested in fashion or pageantry or environmental advocacies. Um, you can go and listen to other stuff like politicals, they have gospels, what else do we have? A lot of things like teens. We also have a lot of artists visiting here at Intellectual Radio. So go check it out, make a comment, tell us what kind of stuff you want us to talk about on the show, not on my show. I'm always talking about fashion and pageant, <laughs> so forget about other things. Definitely no politics here. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, we're, we're, we have some awareness, but we're not going to talk about it. We'll leave it to the experts um, <laughs> and the ones that do think they're experts. So we are here at Intellectual Radio Women Everywhere, and we are streaming live 24-7. And again, I'm here with Christina Dishev. So we are going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll talk about her modeling career, how it improved during her reign as Miss Illinois Earth, and then we'll talk about our plan for the 2018 2019, you're the 2018, we're planning on 2019 Miss Illinois Earth USA. Yes, right. uh, we'll be right back at Women Everywhere, Your Story Matters at Intellectual Radio. Welcome back to Women Everywhere, Your Story Matters at Intellectual Radio. This is Gigi Carrera, your host at least once a month here at Intellectual Radio. I think you guys should recognize my voice, hopefully. <laughs> Anybody? We're at 708-203-8953 if you want to call. We are always looking for people that want to be part of Intellectual Radio, whether you want to be a host, you want to be a guest. Look through the list of uh, shows we have because whatever interest you have, I'm sure you will find somebody to talk to here at Intellectual Radio. I'm here with <laughs> Miss Illinois Ers. And so tell me about your modeling experience. Uh, first, first off and foremost, I want to let those girls know that if they are pursuing a modeling career, that it takes a very, very long time to develop that until your name really gets out there. That's why so many girls start so young, um, actually. So the younger you get into it, the better. Now, for me, my education was a priority, so I had a bit actually of a late start, I would even say. So I have to work twice as hard now to kind of catch up but being a beauty queen has really helped me get my name out there um, and uh, my name really out to designers. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully, I won't say who it is yet because I don't want to spoil things, but I have definitely a lot more plans uh, for my modeling career even after my reign is over. So for those girls out there that think, oh, I'm never going to make it, You're that's not true. You're never gonna look like this. You it's know, not you true. You started looking like that. It no. takes that, no. you know. It takes, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a whole team of people, believe me. Um, just one word of advice would be stay consistent. And I struggle with this myself because I'm kind of sometimes all over the place. You know, I have full time of job. I have to be a full-time beauty queen as well. I have to be a model. I have to also have a social life, right? And it's not easy, um, but it is it, doable and it's, it's possible. I think it's worth it. As a director, you're always thinking about who's the best girl that will represent the state or the country to be in the spotlight and, and you know, do the right thing in, in right. your in your organization and hopefully get a crown, but hopefully have a great experience during that competition year. So, well, but then again, when it comes to modeling too, you would have to look at it as a career. The work behind what models does is it's basically sitting around and practicing 
for so many hours mm -hmm. and so many days and weeks mm -hmm. and you get to be on a runway for at least what 30 seconds or something like that oh yeah that's that's the other things for for those people who think that it is easy and it comes naturally let me tell you it is not it does not come naturally it is not easy i mean some girls get accustomed to it faster than others but it's definitely not natural um, when i first had my photo shoot ever that it was just a white wall and just me in the front and they're like okay go and i was like what are what, what am i doing <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing and but i played it well it's, it's not easy but with practice you get slowly it has it becomes a second nature but you have to really invest time into it and my other word of advice would also be be realistic about it i mean there's so much competition out there um you're not gonna always get the crown the first time or the second time it might take you 10 times maybe even more um, so you have to really be realistic and take your chances even if you lose yeah. then at least you learn something and i think well for me as a director i guess i'm a little partial towards try it and see how you feel about it and if you dislike being part of that community then get out of it and you know right. do other things that you want to do what is the difference between the earth and the other pageant that's not an earth system but they're different because the, it functions differently they there i have never competed for them so i'm not an insider for their information but i know they do have some sort of platform you choose whether if it's bullying or you know you can i'm sure you can choose something environmental awareness but um it is very different than our organization because miss earth is particularly focuses really on um, global awareness and preserving the planet as i'm sure you've heard it in social media repeated often and uh, often and also it's being talked about because of many girls like you and women like yourself and the miss earth organization promoting it like crazy we're not just here in illinois or in the united states um the miss earth we're has everywhere. about 90 uh contestants everywhere yeah. um as representing their country and every single one of them they get to pick their own environmental platform whether it's planting trees or taking care of the bees or water conservation uh environmental sustainability it's a lot of different ideas but everything that they're doing affects how we use the resource of the country or how we dispose of things that we've already used as an output you know as, as a garbage from what we utilize as human interested about uh, what makes you want to continue doing the pageant sure. that that has things to do with bringing awareness to either self-development or environmental advocacies sure no matter how much your platform is developed, uh, one year is never enough time to do as much as you want to do. I wish I had more time to be quite honest so I can continue doing what I love and really educating. I'm really focusing on educating our youth about these issues because eventually these are the people that are going to grow up and take care of our planet. So it is important to really target our youth. Um, I feel like I have done a lot, but I feel like I definitely need more time to do more. So I will continue on that legacy, right? Water conservation. What can we do to, to um, conserve our water resources? So this is something definitely I'm looking forward to continue developing, even without a title. You don't need a title to necessarily get involved. Before I become part of the Miss Earth organization, I really didn't care because I figured I can't make a difference. I'm just one person, right. really. But if you think about it, it starts from that person looking at issues like this that we might think it's small, but it's actually something that we can do on our own terms and our own way. And you don't have to be perfect to do it all the time, every time. But if you're just mindful about it, then maybe you can make a difference in the world. Correct. Yeah. That actually brings me into a point. When I was um, volunteering with Mambi, they actually used boxed water to sell water rather than using plastic water bottles. And they actually said that the boxed water they used was 74% made from trees, which is a renewable source, which I thought was very interesting. And really, it makes a difference because if you think about it, Mambi is a large festival. Imagine if they start doing that for 
all the festivals to get rid of plastic really we don't need it we really don't um or if we actually need it then at the very least minimal chicago is amazing by the way and you live in chicago so kudos to you in a way they start charging people when you use plastic if you don't bring your own uh, reusable bag they'll charge you extra for using plastics and i think you know when it hurts your pocket i think uh, people are going to start maybe caring more start caring more and that's another uh, another thing about developing my platform is that people seem to really not care until you let them know how it personally affects them and one of those large effects is really it comes down to money if people can save money they will start caring believe me and that's one of the work that a lot of our um, title holders at Miss Earth's organization is involved with so now that we've gotten it out of the way and talk about our uh, program with Miss Illinois we get to know her a little bit about her modeling and her platform throughout the year and if you're thinking about competing in pageants and you've never done this before as you can see she was a newbie too when she got to the Miss Illinois Earth. And um, what are some of the things that they have to make sure they know at least when they are competing for the program? I think that they have to realize that there are a lot of expectations and this is not something that is only for fun. Sure, it's fun, yes, of course, but it's actually a career and it's a job. At the end of the day, it is a job. And Gigi, she will haunt you down if you do not do your work. You have to be committed and consistent. Yeah, there so you it go. It takes work. It takes work. And especially if you're a full-time worker like myself, it is hard. Um, you will get very busy and exhausted. And you're going to constantly need to be social and speak to people. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is very rewarding. We are so thrilled that... You stopped by and you were part of the intellectual radio. You guys, if you're just listening to us, this is Gigi Carrera. I'm with Women Everywhere and we're at intellectualradio.com. If you missed the conversation you know, 45 minutes ago, you can go back to intellectual radio and listen to Thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you, Miss Illinois 2018. Thank you for having me.